So what about new agents? So what do we have coming down the road? I would imagine that new agents are probably most often being tested in the refractory setting. Right. Um, I'd like to start with fostanatinib. So that's really, that, that's an interesting drug. It's a sick inhibitor. What's a sick inhibitor? Um, I'm not an immunologist, so I don't want, I don't want to start getting into that, but basically um, we're changing um, the, the immunology of recognizing these cells, um, okay. platelets, as, as targets. Okay. Um, and so SICK stands for spleen tyrosine kinase, yes. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't heard of another SICK inhibitor available. No, Is that's this a first the only in one. class? As far as I know, it's yeah. the first in class. Um, the, the original data, which looked at the usual endpoint, which is 50,000, at least doubling of the platelet count, patients who were at less than 30,000 to start, um, didn't look great. It okay. was about 18%. The response um, rate. Response rate. Okay. If we look at the data, if we look at a secondary analysis, because what are we really looking for in patients? We're looking for really clinical safety, right? We're not necessarily looking for that 50,000 target because frankly, other than um, the TIPO mimetics, I don't, I'm not looking for that 50,000. I'm usually right. looking for greater than 20 or 30 because that's usually what will keep patients safe and right. that's what the guidelines say. So um, if you look at the secondary analysis with fostamatinib, um, what you find is that what they did was they looked at, let's say, 30,000, at least a 20,000 increase. Okay. Um, and when you look at that, we're talking more like 40, 45 percent. So um, it's promising. I think we need some more long-term data, which I, I think they're in the, the process of obtaining. Yeah. But it is so definitely somewhat yeah. promising. So, so I'm excited about it. Response rate of 40-ish percent in a refractory. A clinical, cl yeah. what, that's the clinically significant response okay. rate as opposed to the usual response rate that we're looking for, which is greater than 50,000. And this drug is oral? It's an oral drug. Okay. So it's oral continuous. Yes, you have yeah. to take it daily. Yeah. And you lose the response if you stop the drug. And what's known about the, the tolerability? Um, actually, it's been relatively well tolerated. Initially, um, we thought at higher doses that we were seeing a lot of, um, a lot of GI side effects. Okay. But that seems to be, it seems to be much better tolerated now. I've, I've actually, um, I was looking at the data yesterday and I'm actually pretty impressed that it is a tolerable drug, um, that the, it will have a place along with a lot of other drugs that are coming down the pike that are okay. looking at, at um, immunosuppression in other ways.